Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to create a simple form containing multiple fields in LWC. But before getting started, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. So in this video, we are going to create a form which will have multiple fields and on the click of this create account button, an account with those details that I've submitted inside the form should get created automatically. So first we need multiple input fields. So for that, we are going to move to the LWC component that we have already created. I'm going to remove this on change from here as we don't need it anymore. And just like first input field, I'm going to create multiple input fields. One is going to capture the name of the account. Table should be also name. Another is going to capture the description of the account. I'm going to keep the label as description only. And last one is going to capture the phone. That is a phone number on the account. I'm going to keep the name as phone and lab label as well phone. Now, what I want is on the click of this button, whatever details are available inside my lightning input field, I should get inside this function that is handle click, which will run on click of this button. I want to get all the details from this lightning input fields. And once I've got it, I have to insert whatever values I want and I have to submit the details so that the account should get created successfully. So first let's move to the handle click. So I've already provided the handle click. I'm going to comment this out making an imperative call. I'm going to comment this out out. So first thing first, what I want is on click of this button, I should get details from all these three lightning input fields or whatever lightning full input fields I've created. So for that, to get that, what we can do is we can use this dot template dot query selector all which is already available i think so right what this query selector will do is it will get you details regarding any of the input field or it can be button or anything like that okay right now we want from in uh, input field right next thing we have to find out what is common between all of the all of these three input fields the type the type is sometimes it is text sometimes it's phone Sometimes the name is different. Sometimes the label is different. So nothing is common between this lightning input field But one thing common is that all of them are lightning input fields So I'm going to use this lightning input And I'm going to provide over here So what's now what's going to happen is this dot template query selector will get all the details from here From the lightning input field that I've created on my HTML page I'm going to store it within a variable Now, as this query selector all is not going to return only one lightning input field, it's going to have multiple lightning input fields, right? As we have multiple records or multiple lightning input fields or anything we have multiple in programming, what we do is we use a for loop to iterate over it to process the record one by one. So the same thing I'm going to do over here, I'm going to iterate over data all because it contains multiple lightning input fields for each. So now what's going to happen is this on the click of this button, what will happen is all the details from the lightning input field will come inside data all. Now, as there are multiple values inside this data all, that is three lightning input fields in data all, we are going to iterate over them one by one. And each of this lightning input field attributes will be provided to you in the current item. So let's see how this current item is going to work. I'm going to alert it out. This is current item and I'm going to give a colon plus current item now let's look into it what's going to happen now this current item represents each of this lightning input field one by one okay See, as we can see this current item, this is the first lightning input field. This is the second lightning input field. And this is the third lightning input field. On the click of OK, everything is gone. Now what we want is, we just don't want current item. We want to access each of these attribute like name, name or label or variant or type, whatever we, we want, we can access it using this current item because current item represents the whole lightning input. So let's say if you want to just access the name what we can use we can just use dot name 
if I go and refresh, it's just going to pick the name from each of this lightning input field over which it is iterating. So A, B, let's say one, two, three, this. And if I create or click on create account, you can see this current item name, which was the name of our input field. Next would be description and next would be phone. If I click on OK, see as it is phone. Okay, I will click again name, then description, and then find its phone. So all three attributes I am able to access using this using this current item inside this for each loop. Right? Now what I want is somehow I want to pass each of this field value that is the name, the phone number, and the uh, the description to the Apex class. And then once it is passed to the Apex class, I'm going to create an account with those attributes. So first, in order to pass it, I need to create the parameters for it. So for example, string description, comma string phone number. Right. So I'm going to use ACC dot description equals to desk. ACC dot phone equals to phone number okay now i have provided the parameters i have to also pass the parameters over here first in the previous videos what i did was i used the acc name as my first parameter and then i created a variable at the top to pass the value same way what i'm going to do is i'm going to create three more variable two more variables account description and account phone right i'm going to pass the values of these as a parameter again first parameter was i think so desk okay disc disc key i'll give it because descending is a keyword right so okay c i colon account description comma third parameter is phone number phone number colon this turned account phone number so i have passed the parameters to my imperative calling method but wait i have not passed the values inside each of these variables right i have to pass the values in each of this variable yet now to do that what we need to do is we can use a current dot current item dot value we can use that to get the values from each of the input box so let's see a let's say b let's say one two three something like this and if i click, click on create account i'm getting the value itself using current item dot value i'm able to get the value right now I need to pass the values, each of these values one by one to each of these variables, right? To pass it correctly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check whether the current item that I'm iterating over, what is the name of it, dot name? Is it equals to equals to name? Or is it something else or is it something else? So there are three ways, right? It is either description, or either it can be phone itself. So if the current item dot name equals to equals to equals to name, then this this dot in this variable I'm going to pass the current item dot value. So automatically the name, whatever the name value will get passed inside this variable. Same way. I have to, if the current item dot iterating over it is description, then I have to pass the description values inside this variable. In the same way, if the current item I am iterating over is phone, the account phone value should get populated with that particular phone number. And now, if I uncomment this, things are going to work perfectly fine. So what's going to happen is, I have multiple lightning input fields on the and I have a button on the click of this button handle click is going to work 
and inside the handle click i am getting all the query using query selector i am getting all the attributes of lightning input all the attributes label name value everything once i've got all of them as it is containing multiple uh, lightning input it's not getting only one it's containing multiple lightning input so i'm going to iterate over it using for each loop now using current item i will be able to access each of this lightning input one by one so next what i'm trying to do is if my current item if i'm iterating over the name if its name is equals to name then i'm passing that name particular value inside this variable if the current item dot name equals to description then i'm passing the descriptions value inside this variable and if the current item which I am iterating over is phone, then I am passing the current item that is phone number value inside this variable. Now once everything is passed perfectly fine, I am making an imperative call to this particular apex class. To learn about more about inter imperative calls, you can watch my other videos. So what I am going to do is I am going to call this get imperative data method. Inside this imperative data method, I am taking three parameters again, and I am passing each of this value one by one, and I am inserting the account successfully. If the account is inserted, I will get the ID over here. So let's let's like look into it. Clear the log as well. Salesforce five minutes, and then please subscribe would be my description and phone number i will put anything okay now if things are working perfectly fine i should be able to get the id of this account click on the create account log is generated and if you go to this log as we can see this account is successfully created so if you see name was salesforce five minutes Subscribe was the description and phone number was something else. Now if I go to this particular account. Name of the account is Salesforce in 5 minutes. Uh, phone number is this. Description is something called as please subscribe. So this is how you pull the record, pull the data from multiple fields and insert the record in Salesforce on a click of a button. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to this channel.